This video reviews the cross trainer drive belt replacement procedure. Step 1. Remove the rear leg beam roller from the rear rubber step assembly. Step 2. Remove the upper body joint arm shroud clamshell covers. Step 3. Using an 8mm Allen key, remove the fastener holding the arm to the chassis. Pay attention to the orientation of the washer upon removal to ensure it goes in as it came out. Step 4. Using a 5mm Allen key, remove the fastener holding the arm to the flywheel drive shaft. Step 5. With a helper, remove the arm and the leg assembly. Step 6. Remove the fasteners holding the shroud and then remove the shroud. Step 7. Remove the old belt and discard any pieces from the inside of the machine. Step 8. Using a small flat head screwdriver, remove the cap on the crank cover. Then use a 21 millimeter socket to remove the lock nut. Step 9. Using a harmonic balancer puller, thread three 8 millimeter by 1.5 inch grade 12.9 bolts through the slots in the puller and into the corresponding holes on the hub of the crank cover. Insert the large center bolt that comes with the puller to pull the crank cover off of the shaft. Step 10. With the crank cover removed, you now have access to the pillow block fasteners. Take note of where the side jack bolts are, as these are responsible for flywheel placement. Loosen and remove the bolts that hold the pillow blocks into the chassis. Step 11. With the pillow block fasteners removed, you can lift the flywheel assembly and slide the new belt in. Step 12. Once the new belt is inserted, reconnect the pillow block fasteners, torque to 41 to 43 foot-pounds, and the alignment jack bolts. To ensure the flywheel is running true, adjust the jack bolts as necessary. Step 13. Install the new belt onto the generator pulley, then walk the belt onto the flywheel. Note, loosening the tensioner may make installing the belt easier. Step 14. Once the new belt is on, ensure the tensioner is properly retightened. Belt tension should be 60 to 70 pounds or a quarter turn at the longest span. Ensure the flywheel is running true and the belt stays seated in the upper and lower pulleys when moving the flywheel forward or backward. Step 15. Reverse the procedure to reassemble the machine.